how a man texts you and what he says in a text message says a lot. But I'm going to break down three different types of text messages that you should avoid from these types of men. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, I know text messages is a thing. I'm a texter. I love to text. But one thing I know for sure about men is that certain men text differently and certain things that they say means a lot. And I want you to be able to crack the code so you know how to respond if you choose to do so at all. The first type of text message that I want you to be aware from a man that you are dating is the minimal effort text. These are the text messages that literally only have one or two words. Like, hey, what's up? I miss you. Me too. For sure. Like that means this dude is not putting in any effort to form communication with you to go deeper or to even continue the conversation. Being very short with your responses really is kind of like a dead end cutoff. Now, one thing that I do know is that men and women do communicate differently. So I want to give that disclaimer in this video that there are a lot of men who not about to send you a whole paragraph, right? Like, (laughs) you know, us women, we'll send a whole dissertation via text message okay but men are just more quick to the point you might get a sentence or two and even that is pushing it so look I just want you to be aware of if the man's communication style is pretty typical where he's just short and to the point know the difference between that and somebody who really just not trying to text you and they just giving you the bare minimum and the leftovers know the difference between the two know the difference Number two, the second type of text message that I want you to be aware of for the man that you are dating is the I haven't talked to you in a while text messages. These are the men that try to come back from the dead. These are the men that hit you with that, hey, big head text messages when you ain't talked to him in six months a year, nine months, two years, and they just try to pop up on you all of a sudden. Sir, where have you been? Where have you been? And nine times out of 10, he's only hitting you up because he wants something. And if you already have been engaging in some type of sexual activity, that might be the reason. He might be trying to spin the block on that thing so he can get some. But to be honest with you, even though you're a grown adult and you can do whatever you want to do, I feel like this is a type of situation that wouldn't end well. So I want you to be cautious. I want you to be aware. I want you to tread lightly. If you decide to engage and respond to him at all, I think you need to do so with confidence. I think you need to do so with boundaries, with lines, with restrictions. So he don't feel like he can just come back in and creep in and do whatever he want to (laughs) do. No, sir. No, sorry. And the third type of text message that you should avoid from these men that you are dating is the flake. Okay, now this one is a little bit of a two-parter. The first part of this is that he might be an inconsistent texter. And this isn't like the previous one that we just talked about where you ain't heard from him for nine months and a year and he just pop up. I'm talking about the person where you're engaging in text messages back and forth and then he just stopped responding. You don't hear from him for days. You don't hear from him for weeks and don't even hear from him for a month. And then he tried to just pop back up all of a sudden like, oh, shoot, my bad. I forgot to respond to your text message from two months ago. Like, sir, (laughs) sir, I keep saying sir, but man, these men be killing me. These are the type of men that will leave you on red. (laughs) Yeah. And the second type of flaker that I need to mention here is the person who's inconsistent with their actions too. This type of situation is when you guys have made plans. You guys are like, okay, we're going to go out or we're going to hang out or you're going to come over or we're going to do whatever, whatever. And then he flakes. And then you're texting him and you're calling him and he's not answering. He's not responding. He's not saying or showing up on the day and the time that he said that he would. And it's just like, bro, what are you doing? So this is also a two part flake, right? He's inconsistent with texting, but he also could be inconsistent with the plans that you guys have made as well. And the cold part about this is that he normally hits you up (laughs) a little bit later. Talk about some W.I.D. What you doing? What you up to? Sir, I was waiting on you three hours ago, but now I'm in my pajamas watching TV about to go to sleep. So don't even come over here. (laughs) Don't even do it. So my final thoughts on this is that you have to be aware of the tactics that people play. Now, I'm clearly aware that not only men do things like this, but women do this as well. But this video is strictly geared towards helping the women manage the conversations and the interactions with men. And so you want to make sure that you 
are sure about yourself, that you're confident about yourself enough to be like, okay, I cannot accept wishy-washy inconsistency in my life, especially if you are someone who is interested in having a long-term relationship or even getting married long-term. You have to be cautious of the things that you allow in your life because once you allow someone to start popping up whenever they want and you just go keep responding back to them and they have no desire to put a ring on it. They have no desire to date you seriously or exclusively. You're just letting that person run over you and you're teaching them how to treat you. You're literally saying to him, okay, yeah, you can do that to me. You can run all over me. You can text me inconsistently. You can be a flake. You can pop up. You can come back from the dead. You can come to my house at midnight. Like You can do whatever you want to do. And that's not okay because then your value starts to go down a little bit, right? He starts to look at you at a different perspective and not look at you as someone that he could court, as someone that he can take serious. You might just be like a booty call. Ouch. I know that's a little rough, but it's true. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.